So, this is a very, very highly requested video for some reason. <laughs> this video is going to be so short and sweet, but I thought I'd film it for you anyway. Um, over the past month or so, I've been wearing like these mermaid beach waves in my hair. And so many of you guys have been requesting for me to do a tutorial on it. So, basically... So that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> the tool that I use is obviously one of these wee tools here. This one I'm using is from eBay. I do apologise, I can't link it because it's honestly quite a few years old at this point. So that's obviously just what I use. If you want, I'll actually maybe link some down below, some affordable ones and some other wee ones I can find for you. It's just kind of help you out. So obviously, as I had mentioned there, I do wear a wig. This is my wig. The wig that I'm wearing at the minute is from ZL. The reason I'm talking about this, by the way, is because I'm obviously going to be doing this style on my wig. Um, but basically, whenever I am styling my wig, especially if it's a real hair one, I basically like to treat it like it's my own hair. I'm still going to be going in with my heat protector. I'm not that fussy whenever it comes to like heat protectors and stuff. I know some people can be like, mm. <laughs> but this again, chips, chips. <laughs> it does, it does the job, it does the job. I mean, I, do, I don't care about hair. I'm not fussy, it's, it does the job. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spritz the wig. Just all over. Okay, oh, I forgot clips, hold on. I think I'll do this side first with you on camera. And I do just take this side and just kind of put it up out of the way. So I'm just gonna take a clip. And just kind of clip that out of the way. I don't really feel like I need to. I, <laughs> do you know what it is? I don't want to sound patronising, as if like you obviously know how to like clip up your hair, okay? <laughs> That's why I hate doing things that are really, really easy. Well, easy to me, but like I just, I just don't want to sound as if I'm coming across as being patronising. So please don't think that <laughs> I have a load of lipstick in my teeth. So please excuse that too, but. I'm going to start off with just that wee first section and just clip this out of the way. So the heat I have this at is 220 by the way, which is probably highly unnecessary, but oh well. And I usually like to hold it for about 10, 15 seconds. That obviously comes down to how thick your section is. If your section, like these wee bottom sections here or this wee section here that I'm doing now, is a wee bit thinner, you don't need to keep the hair tool on it for as long. Or if the hair or the section is a wee bit thicker, you keep it on for slightly longer. Does that make sense? So I would say that's all I need now. So it's created the style. So what I like to do now is, you see the bottom crimp, crump? <laughs> I like to kind of go over that again, just like so. And then once that's clamped, I'm going to push up. I don't want to hold tight because it's going to destroy like the style that we put in here. If I hold it tight, it's gonna kind of like release that. I'm just gonna call it a curl, okay? Cramp crap, who the fuck? Jesus, this is, mm. I'm just gonna call it a curl. So I'm gonna kind of push up to kind of keep it in that curl or that curve, let's just say. And then again, just hold up for like 10, 15 seconds. And I'm onto the next one and then push up so that the hair is able to cool down in that style, okay? So you're just really wanting to maintain that style. And then push up. So basically just clamp and push up, like push back to yourself. But of course, whenever you're working towards your scalp or your neck or your ears, please do be careful because see, burn your ears on straighteners, curlers, so painful. I have to say, I have yet to burn my face. I've yet to burn my face, <laughs> but I have burnt my neck and oh man, it's sore like. And then, just do a wee bit, just at the bottom. Don't really need to that much. Like whether I'm doing this hairstyle uh, on my wig or on my actual hair, it honestly lasts so long. 
and I, I really do like it because like it starts to kind of loosen up a wee bit and kind of look a wee bit more boohoo chic or something. I don't know, it's just, it's just such an easy maintained style. So it is, or if you're maybe wanting to like refresh the style, you just need to do like the tiniest wee crimps through your hair, you don't have to do the whole thing. I don't know, it's just, it's just easy. So it is. So this wee section here is slightly thicker, so I'm going to leave it on for slightly longer. Okay, so that's that section done, or that side done, sorry. I know it might look a wee bit PC and bitty and all over the place for now, but I'm literally just gonna leave it at that. In fact, hold on a wee second. There's so much crap lying around my floor at the minute. I'm gonna take a wee bit of the Square Scarf Got To Be Glued spray. I'm just gonna give that just a wee spritz, just to kind of like hold the style in just a wee bit more. Just while I now go off camera and do it this other side, and then we will be back to kind of like finish it off and everything. Okay, so that is that's all done, guys. That's literally the finished, like completed look. <laughs> Okay, so basically now you can kind of either feel free to get like a really white tooth comb and kind of just like brush through it. I ideally and personally wouldn't take like an actual brush and like brush through it because it can go a wee bit kind of like Hagrid. <laughs> if that's what you're going for, girl, knock yourself out, no baller. But if I'm being honest, like I know like there's a wee bit of a like a wee hole <laughs> here um but I actually just leave it like this and I find that leaving it like this the curls do kind of drop and settle but also just kind of you know like fan out themselves but honestly it's such a really easy fun like summer vibes hairstyle that's just really really easy to upkeep as well if you just want to like skip on a couple of hair days of washing and stuff a couple of squirts of dry shampoo will just kind of ruffle it up and just kind of have it more beachy vibes and stuff i don't know i just kind of love this hairstyle especially for summer it's just beach vibes i love it holiday vibes all that good stuff. Definitely a very, very short and sweet. Super, super easy as well. And I, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.